I'm in Nebraska City, Nebraska, home to the Arbor Day Farm. And this is the home of J. Sterling Morton, the founder of Arbor Day. This national historical park is inspiring people to celebrate trees and a whole lot more. From tree adventures to orchards and colorful leaves every which direction. If you want to learn about trees, you've come to the right place. The Arbor Day Farm is part of the legacy left behind by J. Sterling Morton. He was U.S. Secretary of Agriculture under President Grover Cleveland, and he founded Arbor Day in 1872. This was all the original working farm, cattle, trees, all that stuff of J. Sterling Morton's original farm and rancher. Nothing short of nature's paradise, everything here has a purpose, and that's to inspire people to celebrate, nurture, and plant trees. Plus, there's something else going on here too. Did I mention the hazelnut project? That's what's going on inside this greenhouse. Let's go inside and take a look. These aren't leafy greens you're looking at. They're hazelnut seedlings, and this greenhouse is full of them. Well, as you can see, you're surrounded by hazelnuts. These are ones that we've actually harvested out on the field. It's a wonder nut that Arbor Day Farm VP Doug Farrar says could be coming into its own with a little help. We have a program where we're trying to make hazelnuts so that they will grow around the world, fundamentally. By we, he means the Hybrid Hazelnut Consortium. It's the Arbor Day Foundation and a group of institutions hoping to unleash the hazelnut's full potential, not just as a food crop, but also as a biofuel. You know, we really believe that this will affect the world in a positive way. Okay, before we go any further, why do they think the hazelnut is so great? Well, it produces more oil per acre than soybeans used for biodiesel. It doesn't need much water. And its shrub is dense, so it's great for protecting habitats. Plus, plant the crop once and you can pretty much call it a day. Nebraska's Chief Forester Scott Josiah couldn't be more excited about all the above. To be able to grow a biofuel, a biodiesel, at twice the rate that we can with soybeans on a perennial crop where we're not disturbing the ground every year and do that on lands that are not growing food right now. That's exciting. Now for the challenge, growing them commercially in the Midwest or even the United States. Arbor Day Farms Adam Howard gives us the stats. 97% of the hazelnuts are grown outside of the U.S. We have a 3% market share in the states and that 3% market share is only in the state of Oregon currently. The problem is that while the European nut is a larger, high quality nut, it's picky about where it lives and not too disease resistant. Their American version is the opposite. European in my right hand, American in my left, much smaller, not commercial at all, but this is resistant to what's called Eastern filbert blight, a, a deadly disease which just kills this. The solution, according to the University of Nebraska researchers at the Arbor Day Farm, plus the consortium partners Rutgers and Oregon State, is to combine the two. We want to find hazel, hybrid hazelnuts. That's a mix of kind of two kinds of hazelnuts, to not get too scientific. We find the best one with the best nuts, the best one that grows in the best region. Put those two together, that's the ma and the pa, and see what the kids are. <laughs> The perfect kid will be disease and cold resistant, thrive almost anywhere, and become a competitive crop. You'll see cornfields and soybeans being replaced by hazelnuts. You plant them once and they grow for 25 years. These hybrid shrubs you see in the orchard are the hybrid parents. Their offspring end up in the Arbor Day nursery run by Adam Howard. We have three crops per year that we grow and we produce about, we can produce up to 50,000 hazelnuts in each crop. We're trying to find that funny plant out there that was a ma and pa that just was a superstar. A superstar that could make us think of nuts in a whole new way. Why is the hazelnut project important? You know, um, as we look at the world and we look at the energy savings that need to be, when we look at the major things of water, this will, will make water cleaner for watersheds. This will sequest carbon, so it keeps carbon from going into the atmosphere. So from environmental sustainability to biofuel and the food we eat, researchers encourage budding scientists to take note. Young people that are interested in, in making a difference, this is a, one area that one, we could really make a difference. This could become the third crop for the United States in terms of the Midwest. It could be corn, soybeans, and hazelnuts. Something to chew on as the hazelnut comes into its own.